Welcome back to in Milwaukee. Let me ask you this. Are you irritated, cranky? Could you lose, use a little more vitamin happy? Maybe? Yes. Well, look at this. Happy! happy. Our registered dietitian, Lisa Grezzolanik, is here with YourTastyLife.com with six foods to make you happy! Happy! Well, let me share. <laughs> so let's get started with the happy food, shall we? Okay. Please. So the better. first thing we need to talk about is fermented foods, which is all the rage these days. Fermented or prebiotic, probiotics. Oh, we keep hearing all these yeah. terms. Okay. And to, to explain to our viewers what that means, I want to break down a little bit what's going on with the whole gut function. Yeah. So, man, you know how we say things like you got a gut instinct yeah. or go with your gut. Yeah. Or well, leaky gut. Well, <laughs> leaky gut, yeah. But these, <laughs> these terms we say, they're not really just metaphorical. There right. is a true connection between the gut and the brain. There is a okay. highway of neurons that goes. And what we're learning with the science is that our mood can be affected by our gut function. Hmm. Really? So if we okay. don't have the right bacteria mix in our gut, we can have more depressed moods and so forth. So there's a hot button in science right now where they're looking at fermented foods and probiotics, and if we can shift that bacteria in our, in our gut flora, as we call it, right. we can have better outlook and mood. Huh. Right. So fermented foods are simply foods that are um, mixed with a culture, if you will, or bacteria, and then they grow these healthy bacteria. Okay. So we so might be familiar with yogurt. Yogurt's probably the most common fermented food. It has okay. these probiotics or healthy bacteria in there. Other things are things like kimchi, which is a super spicy sauerkraut. So if you like spicy food, you'll like ah, kimchi. Okay. Otherwise, there's different kinds of sauerkraut. But the thing here, ladies, to make, uh, make sure of, that these things are going to find in the refrigerated section. Okay. Once you pasteurize or heat something, you kill those beneficial bacteria. So oh. these are in the refrigerator. Oh. Then we have things like kefir. You might have heard of kefir. Kefir is a... Is I love kefir. Yeah, you could try it, ladies. I'm not sure if you care for it. What flavor is it? It's Ooh, just it a plain thick. one, so it's not going to be too sweet, but it's basically like a drinkable yogurt is what kefir oh. is. Okay? And so you either care for it or you don't. It's kind of tart. Okay. I it's like tart. the flavor. Then what you guys might want to look into is kombucha. This is one of my oh, favorites that I love. So kombucha okay. is simply a fermented tea. And there's all sorts of different flavors, and again, you're getting those healthy gut bacteria. So you don't have to rely just on supplements like a probiotic. You could it do smells foods. fermented. Yeah, it has a little bit of an acid, I think, smell, because right, that's right. what happens in fermentation. So these are really great foods to stock your cart with to get these healthy gut bacteria in. We mix this with something. You could, can see could, where you're going with the mix, Nicole. Could you right? mix the two of these together? You could. Oh, I mean, you could put them in a smoothie or something. You know, there's no law yeah. not to do that. How often would you have this? Like, like a cup a day, people can really? do. You know, and there is no, I guess, hard fast rule. It's just depending on what you're eating. You know, to get enough of these. But listen, honestly, now I do love kefir, but I like it in flavor. So is mm. the flavor gonna do me as good? Because this, sure. this, this, I couldn't it, quite It'll be a little stomach, more sugar, but, but you're still getting those good, healthy probiotics. Right. So it's live cultures is what we're trying to look for on the label. I can do that. I can do that. Then we want to move to asparagus. Asparagus, like what the heck does that have to do with mood, Lisa? Well, asparagus has folate, and folate is essential to help our, our nerve function, etc. So there's been some studies linking folate deficiency to depressed mood. And if you have one cup of uh, asparagus, you can get 66% of your folate. Oh, wow. wow. So folate is a good superfood okay. in the asparagus. Then we've heard all about fish. Yes. So we want to eat more fish in our diet. Fish is super good as far as mood. The, the king of the crop is salmon, of course, we all heard Love about it. salmon, yes. but all kinds of fish will be good for us, but looking at fish that has lower mercury levels, so the smaller fish are actually really good too, like your salmon and your, uh, Even though excuse me, your, your sardines, your um, uh, anchovies here, oh, herring, yeah, okay. yeah, all kinds of things, looking for responsibly raised you know, fish, but fish has omega-3 fatty acids, omega-3 okay. fatty acids boost the brain function, Perfect. that could help with mood. Now, Chocolate, yes. Yay! I'm, but not like M&M's. This is like... This is, yeah. So if we're looking to boost our mood, what the research shows is if we have chocolate, and we look on the labels we've kind of talked about in this past, see where it says 70% cacao? Yeah. 70% or more of the cacao, that's that active ingredient in the chocolate, has been shown to boost our serotonin or our happy chemical. Okay. So if we're looking for the mood boosting effects, milk chocolate isn't going to do it, white chocolate isn't going to do it, but the dark chocolate does have scientific backing that it can help with mood. Okay. Uh, next we're going to move on to mushrooms. And again, what's, what's going on with the mushrooms here? But mushrooms have selenium, and selenium is a nutrient when we're deficient in it. We can have more anxiety, depression, and fatigue. 
Mushrooms are also one of the only plant sources of vitamin D, and really? vitamin D is clearly linked with helping our mood and affect. And with seasonal affect disorder starting coming soon with the right. fall and the winter, you Trust know, me, I'm about to stop we need to start yes. boning up on our vitamin yes. D. Okay, especially where cold flu season is great for um, helping our immune mm -hmm. system. And then last but not least, I wanted to put in something really easy to boost our mood, something such as selenium. Or excuse me, um, Brazil nuts which have another source of selenium. Love those. So Brazil nuts, six measly little Brazil nut okay, gives you your daily value of six selenium. Nine? Just six. six. Really? They're one of the most potent sources of selenium, again, linked with helping our mood, um, anxiety, etc., you know, fatigue. Selenium is a great mineral that actually is also an antioxidant. So six measly Brazil nuts and you get it in. You know, I love this because this is like, this is a lot of nut. Yeah, it's like, it's like a kefir better than you know? Really? So Nicole's yeah. going with the kefir, you're going with the selenium. The okay. So variety of foods to boost your mood, okay? So there's lots of things we can do in our daily diet to use our food to help us feel happy. All right, cool. I'm going to get happy and uh, eat some Brazil nuts. Don't go away, but we'll be right back.